what's up, Gillison? I didn't see you sneak up on me. It's so good you made it. You know, in the old days, when you went to sniper school, you had to make your ghillie suit at school, back when school was hard. They only gave you a weekend. You had to put your whole ghillie suit together in one weekend. What a chore that was. And believe me, the instructors paid attention. You couldn't use any pre-made materials, meaning you had to use a set of your camis. You couldn't buy a cobra hood or go to some shop and have some stuff sewn on for you. You had to make it all yourself in that weekend. You couldn't even pre-make it. If the instructors thought that you pre-made your ghillie suit and showed up to school, oh man, they would haste the shit out of you. It was a good time. But you, you didn't come here to talk about ghillie suits, did you? You came here to find out what's going on with the, the dog kennel in Little Spoon. Well, it's going. But we have taken a little bit of a tactical pause. And the reason why we paused is there's a possibility that we're gonna get a an air conditioner that fits that size vehicle a little bit better. We're just waiting on information on that air conditioning unit. And I was waiting on the insulation. The insulation hasn't, well, it technically showed up today. And what I plan on doing, I'm going to stay in the dog kennel and we're going to do temperature readings. So I'll do a temperature reading with no insulation and then we'll do a temperature reading with the 5 mil or the 10 millimeter insulation and hopefully, hopefully, there'll be a, a difference. Really, if it just controls the condensation, I'll be happy because I think, because the space is small enough that most of your camping heaters will overheat that thing anyway. So cross your fingers that all that goes well. But we're still pushing on this dog count. But while we're taking this tactical pause, a lot of you asked about the ghillie suit. I remade my ghillie suit. Started from scratch and been putting it all together and I've shown a couple of clips of it here and there and people keep asking about it. So I thought we would go over the ghillie suit a little bit here on the channel. Now, this one here, this is Little Spoon's ghillie suit. And it's very, uh, very bougie for a, a ghillie suit. What I had done was Gore-Tex jacket. And so the Gore-Tex jacket was cut up and put all on the front of this. So technically the front of this is waterproof. That's so when you're laying in the grass or you're laying in, in the water outside, you're not just getting completely soaked. It might work, it might not work, but it's also pretty abrasive resistant, so you can slide on it. It's a pullover, you gotta pull it over your head to get it on, but it's perfect for a little spoon. You got your typical netting on the back for tying all your garnish on. A lot of people will cut this out, the original camming net, out of the net. I like to keep it in because it gives, the, it, gives it a little bit of depth. It gives it a little depth perception, so you're not just looking at a bunch of burlap have a little gap so you have you have depth within your ghillie suit. It makes it a little bit better in the camouflage room, but to each his own. That's just, that's just what I do with mine. Ultimately, people are trying to make them lighter. It's not really that heavy, and in the sense of the type of mission that you would, the, the mission that you would be using this for, you're not carrying any other shit anyways. It's, it's rifle, maybe a laser rangefinder, maybe some crackers there, Carlos Hathcock in your pocket, and then you're, you're off on your mission. Now, what a lot of people will do, I'll show you a mistake that people make. It's really because of the school environment. Remember, I told you, they only give you a weekend to do it. And there's usually a homework assignment like that. I don't remember what we did. There was something else that you had to, you had to do. But what a lot of people do is they'll grab, they'll grab big hunks of, of the jute and then they'll put it on the net like that. Now, the problem with that is, is once this gets wet, then all this is is a bunch of big knots. So you just have this thing that's got a bunch of big knots on it and it's not really helping you in camera. This whole thing is just to aid you in being able to get over on whatever the target is. Whether that's sniper instructors, bad guys, deer, it's just to aid you. There's a lot of things that you can do to make it better. Ideally, whatever environment you're in, whatever environment you move to, you're gonna want to veg that up with whatever the local vegetation is. So just tie as much of that in there. And what that's gonna do is, you've got all this, you're gonna have all your your jute on here, 
And then you're gonna have vegetation on that. It's gonna give that, it's gonna give that ghillie suit depth. It's gonna give you depth. And as long as you are using proper movement techniques, even if someone is looking directly at you, there's a good chance they're not gonna see you. There's a good chance that you are gonna be able to get over because you're using a piece of camouflage that we're not used to looking for. Our eyes are used to looking for straight edges and outlines and movement. The faster you move, the easier it is for somebody to see you. You do the proper movement techniques, that'll never be a problem. So, the other thing that a lot of people do is they'll start up here and they'll go boop, 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 all the way down. That's not bad as long as you remember you don't want to create a pattern, right? You don't want to create these constant lines. I don't do that, I kind of X across, go across, fill in as needed. You don't want to create a pattern. You want to keep it as unpatterny as possible. This particular one is little spoons. I'm hoping to get it finished soon uh, in case little spoon has to kill something this season. I really do hope little spoon likes it because I mean it is pretty cool. I'm just cool. Ghillie suits are pretty cool. Even if you're just, you know, like you want to go to the store, pop in the ghillie suit. I promise you, everybody's going to be like, what's up, ghillie suit? Oh, the other thing is, it's much harder to go from dark to light. Now, if you, I can tell by looking at the camera, this is very dark. Okay, it's very, very dark. The environment that I'm currently in is 90% green around the year. So, green is going to work a little bit better than the tan but you still want to get some stuff in there to lighten it up a little bit, right? You still want to get some things in there that change it so it's not just a black blob, okay? Um, or a green blob. Green's not too bad, but you just want to change it up a little bit so you can get X different colors in here. So when you're not moving and somebody's really looking at it, they're not just looking at black, right? Because black is one of those things that we key in on um, in the wild. So. That's it. We'll put this ghillie suit together and maybe a little spoon will kill something with it.